Hello, my friends. Today we're continuing with our mini series on Luminar Neo. Now we have layers. We've been waiting for layers forever, but what can we do with it? Well, I am going to show you how I would use layers in Luminar Neo. I will start with this image over here. I will go to edit. And what I want to do, I want to make the sky more dramatic. I do not want to change the sky. I just want to improve this sky. So how can I use layers to do that? Well, I will show you. I'll go, the layers are on the left panel over here. I'll go to plus. And what I want to do is add the same image. So now we have two layers of the same exact image. Well, you might say, Skylar, how will that help my sky? It's the same sky. Well, here is how. I'll go to my second layer, and then I'll go to layer properties over here on the right, and I will change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And now my whole image is more dramatic, but especially the sky. So what I want to do, I want to only apply it to the sky and maybe the mountains over here. So I'll take my brush tool, strength, I'll go to 100, and I will just paint it right over here. All right. Let's see now. Now we have the before and after. And that is a lot better, I believe, before and after. Well, I want to make the sky even more dramatic. So how can I do that? Let's apply one more layer. I'll use the same image. And now we have three layers. So on the top most layer, I'll go and change the blending mode again to multiply. And this time, I don't want to apply it to the rocks over here and the foreground, just the sky. So I will use my paintbrush and I would only paint it on the sky. All right, with my third layer selection, I can just go to the tools now. And let's say, what can we do? We'll go to the develop. And we can bring down the highlights if we want to. We can apply some smart contrast. We can even bring down the exposure a little bit. So let's see our image now. This is the before and after. Before and after. Maybe these rocks here are a little bit too dark, so I can go back into my edits. I'll go, that was on my second layer when I went over the rocks. So I'll go into my layer property and I'll take my eraser this time and just a half a strength. I'm going to erase it from these rocks, just 50% of it I'll erase it because I still want them to be more dark, but not that dark. So there we go. Now we're looking better before and after. Let's do a different example. What else can we do with layers? Well, I will, let's do something creative. I'll take this photo of coffee that I took the other day and I'll go to edit. And let's pick, let's pick a photo. I have this photo of coffee beans since I have a coffee photo. Let's see what we can do with it to make it more creative. I am going to go to the blending mode on my coffee bean layer. And let's see, multiply, no, maybe screen. Screen will work pretty well. And now I'll take my brush and I only want to paint this effect on my coffee cup, just to make it look like I have coffee beans on my cup. Let's see. There you go. And I can increase the strain, actually. I should have done it at 100%. There you go. So now I have coffee beans on my cup. That was the before and after. What else can I do? Let's see. Why don't we put one of these uh, lens flares? I'm going to choose this one. All right. That's not bad, but I want to flip it. I can flip it right over here. So that's horizontal and this will be vertically. Um, I want it like that. 
so this is a screen blend mode. That's pretty good. I don't want to see that much of a flare here. So what I am going to do, I'm going to move it, but then just stretch it this way. There you go. And now we have a blends flare. Let's see our before and after. Before and after. I can reduce the opacity if I think it's too much. Before and after. Let's choose a different example. What else can we do with layers? Let's choose this flower image. And for this one, we'll go to edit. And let's say we want to put a texture. I will choose this texture. Now this texture, it's a normal blend mode. I'll switch it to multiply. But let's say I don't want to apply it so much on the flowers. Then I will go to the erase tool, 50% strength, and I will remove some from the flowers. Now also my texture is blue, so it's adding a blue color cast into my image. If I want to remove that, I would go to color and reduce the saturation to negative 100. And now this layer will have no color, just the texture apply. And this is how you apply a texture with layers in Luminar Neon. I hope this was helpful and uh, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I will see you in my next video.